Hi, I'm Jeff Sidek, designer of Battle Stations, along with... Joey, I'm the producer of Battle Stations. We're here to talk about the cannon. The cannon only has one battle station, and you see this bit out here has to point to the front. So what that means is it, it points to any external facing on the ship. So if it's pointed this way, then you can shoot to anything on that side of the ship. And also, if it's not blocked in this direction, you can shoot in that direction as well. So uh, these are one of the modules that we call external facing required, and that's the external facing that's required. So a cannon, it's pretty simple. You use the cannon to shoot at your enemies. You can also use it to shoot at missiles or spacewalkers, anything you like. So cannons are basically like, they're like the, the famous laser beams that kind of shoot out um, kind of instantaneously yes. and wreak havoc. They, they don't move through space the way missiles do. Um, they're, they're an instantaneous thing, but it is harder to hit things that are farther away, not because um, your, your, your laser has to move, but because you, it's, it's harder, just harder to, to aim, aim. Harder to aim at the thing that's farther away. So here's how it works. Uh, at the battle station, you're going to make a combat skill check based on double the speed of your target and the distance in hexes. So if it's seven hexes away and it's going at a speed of two, that two doubles to four plus seven is 11 is your difficulty. And as always, you add your skill to that. In this case, it'd be combat. Red for the cannon, red for combat. Right. So if you're, if you're a Marine, you're better at shooting cannons, better at shooting missiles too. Um, so if, if we're not moving and our target is not moving, then you don't you double you go ahead and double the speed it's zero and then you just add the distance so it's, it's just the distance so if it's ten hexes away you just have to roll a ten that's it so it's it's and like all skill checks and battle stations it's two dice right so it'd be your combat skill plus two dice plus two dice right. and you can re-roll one of those dice if you're a professional marine right but there's only one kind of uh, thing you're firing out of the cannon right I'm glad you asked there's the standard cannon configuration which uses your ship's power levels based on your gun's power by the way this is an old an old sheet. Don't don't be cross about this. Uh, but if you're firing in long range mode, you count the distance as half, but you also count your gun's power as half. And if you are firing it in multi cannon mode, which is good for popping missiles or little things coming along, then you only consider your gun's power of one, but it doesn't add a use marker to the cannon. So when you make when you make that decision, you can you can just set it up and, and go, or do you have to have a cargo bay item that, that lets you do that? You can set it up, but it's a skill check. It's an engineering skill check to reconfigure your cannon. Oh, I see. Into either a long range, standard, or uh, the short range cannon, the the uh, personal point defense cannon that we call the uh, multi cannon. Multi cannon, right? So the other thing you do, there are some cargo bay items, though, that will let you fire the cannon in different ways, like as a fusion cannon. One of the things we did with 2nd Edition was we did away with some of the modules from the earlier expansions that didn't really warrant having a whole module. Like the fusion cannon was fun, but not fun enough to warrant being a whole module. So now there's just a cargo bay item that takes up one of the four slots in the cargo bay that lets you fire the fusion cannon you can configure it to what's uh, a fusion cannon do fusion cannon makes an explosion out in space and everything in that hex takes dice of damage so it's great for popping a bunch of missiles uh, it's great for causing a uh, survival check on something it's also really good for finding something that's cloaked because when you when it goes boom you can see the the debris that if something oh. gets blown up very good well thank you very much that is the cannon there's a cannon <laughs>